Viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranji Raj and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So today we are going to see what is normal distribution in simulation modeling. So let's get started. So first of all, if there is a random variable x, then it is said to be normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma square and it is depicted as x normally distributed. Uh, with these parameters that is mu and sigma square mu for the mean and sigma square for the variance so this is how it is right it is x is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma square now let us move on to the some of the properties for normal distribution there are basically three properties which follows for normal distribution and they are if the limit of x tends to minus infinity for the function that is f of x then it is zero also, if the limit function x tends to be positive infinite for f of x, it also equals to 0. And so we can sum up uh, these two and write it as limit x tends to minus infinity f of x is equal to limit x tends to positive infinity f of x is equal to 0. Next, we have the second property that is if the function that is the uh, mean if it is deducted from the x that is the probability which we are going to find is equal to the function of mu plus x. Next we have if the x is equal to mu that is if the mean is equal to the uh, what we can say the probability that we are going to find then the mean and mode in this case are equal and so we give the equation as z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. We have these three parameters defined for normal distribution that is e of x is equal to mu that is the mean then we have v of x that is sigma square that is the variance then we have the standard deviation which is the square root of v of x that is sigma so that's all about uh, this portion next uh, we have this identity that is if probability of x is less than or equal to small x is equal to probability of z less than or equal to z then we have this identity that is the integration minus infinity to x minus mu divided by sigma of this function that is 1 upon square root of 2 pi multiplied by e raised to minus z square divided by 2 dz. So this is mostly used uh, if this is the case or the, if this is the condition then we use in most of the case uh, this identity for solving. So uh, while summing up and complicating uh, we are not complicating much uh, we are depicting into smaller phi functions then we can have this minus infinity to x minus mu divided by sigma of this function that is phi of z this thing which can be written as when this z expanded it becomes x minus mu divided by sigma. Now this was all about small small concepts regarding the normal distribution. Now uh, since the triangular distribution followed a triangular shaped curve this normal distribution has a bell shaped curve. So this bell shaped curve is represented in this. So it will tend along the positive x axis positive uh, positive x axis as well as negative x axis and along the center. So if there is a value of that is mu is equal to 0 then it will be like this that is a bell shaped curve. Now in normal distribution all the curves would be a bell shape uh, no other curves would be there in normal distribution. Next we have mu is equal to minus 2 in this for this side and mu is equal to plus 2 for the positive x axis. So all this is a bell shaped curve for normal distribution. So hope you enjoyed this video on this video helpful. Please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.